Thank you for joining us on this tour of our version of Hogwarts. <laughs> Good day everyone, I'm Stylehard de Fox, and this is my colorful life. And right now, this is Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just had a Hogwarts themed birthday party because she turned 11 and that's the year people go to Hogwarts, right? Yes. Yes. It was a great party, would you agree? Yes, yeah. I would agree, yeah. Uh, what do you think everybody's favorite part was? Well, everybody really likes the wands. We made wands, and um, the wand chooses the wizard, correct? Exactly. So we had some tricks for that. Maybe we'll show later. Yep. And we also, I think they enjoyed the Patronuses. Oh, yeah. With the Dementor Pinata. We had a Dementor Pinata, which was fun to make, sort of. <laughs> More fun to beat up. Yeah. Yeah. And, ah, oh, yes. The sorting. We had a sorting hat and a sorting ceremony. Should we show them how that worked? Sure. Okay. So this is the sorting hat that we had made. Underneath here is what used to be a talking, singing Christmas tree, believe it or not. So there is a moving mouth and moving eyelids. And uh, when I turn it on, it does start moving. So what we did at the party is I would put it on a student's head and say their name and then my partner who was in another room would be on a cell phone and the other cell phone is in the back of the phone, back of the hat and he would start talking like the, like the hat is talking to the kid. Saying things like, hmm, I see greatness in this one and all that kind of thing and sort them. Take it off my head now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. Oh, let's turn it off. There we go. Whoop. So this isn't the first time that we've done a Hogwarts party. We did one for my birthday party. How many years ago? Two? Two birthdays ago? Yeah, so a lot of the things that we got for that party we still had around. So this one was a little bit easier for setup, but everything, just about everything was thrifted for these parties. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the pictures that you see on the walls, all of the different fabrics that we use to make each house look unique according to their color, our outfits, except for the robes. I made those. How about a tour? We'll give you a tour of the different houses. A tour. A tour. Yeah. A tour? A tour. A, a tour! tour. <laughs> okay, so this is Ravenclaw. And um, this is my house, clearly. And um, so we have a nice chair here. And a nice couch. And here we have blue separating from the Gryffindor. We also have some paintings, and here is the Ravenclaw crest. And we have myself when I was like seven, seven-ish, something like that. And then we have Luna Lovegood. And you probably don't recognize this witch, but it is actually Rowena Ravenclaw. And then there's a cute owl. Now here, of course, we are in the Slytherin house. Plenty of green, lots of green fabrics that I again got from the thrift store. Now, of course, Slytherin is in the dungeon of Hogwarts, which is also where the potions classes are taught. So this is where we have all of our potions. We thrifted most of the potions bottles and downloaded all of the labels from the internet, printed them off and attached them. Aren't they super cool? I have the sword of Gryffindor. And, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not even in Gryffindor, but 
but I'm gonna do something. As you can see, I'm in the Gryffindor area. And uh, it's, it's a nice area, it's very red. So, we got a nice lamp with a nice owl on it. We got a nice sit-in space, yeah. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's the Gryffindor crest. And we have Sirius Black on the wall over here. And that, I think, concludes the Gryffindor section. I'm a Hufflepuff, and this is my house. We've got the Hufflepuff cup, and of course, many paintings. This is actually me from quite a few years ago. Um, we've got my friend Owl over here. And uh, a nice little sitting area for the hoofy poofs. <laughs> <laughs> and of course the banner. We used a mist maker that you could find around Halloween in this gorgeous glass bowl to make a pensive. Such a magical effect. One of my favorite parts of turning our house into Hogwarts is making the dining room the great hall. I love the magic. Our meal consisted of typical party food like burgers and hot dogs but they were all served on fancy silver platters heaped up high. I used string lights for the stars, sheer navy fabric for the sky, and we made some of the candles out of toilet paper tubes and hot glue for the dripping wax, paint of course, and some of the other candles we bought. Welcome to Ollivander's. So, um, I don't know where Ollivander went. So I'll be filling in for him today, so are you getting a wand? Well, maybe you should try this one. Just flick it at the lamp. No, no, the other way. Other way around. Just flick it at the lamp. Hmm, maybe not that one. Maybe you could try. Other way. You always hold it on the big end. All right, flick it at the lamp. No, flick it at the lamp. I think that's the one. best parts of this party for the kids was potions class. Now I'm not a Slytherin, I am a Ravenclaw, but I am the potions professor for this party. Now first we are going to make Veritas serum. As you can see, they're out. Now first we started with 150 milliliters of syrup of arnica. Next we are going to add one teaspoon of wart cap powder. I'm going to use a funnel for my flask. And you just want to stir that up till it dissolves. Now we're adding pixie brains. These aren't good pixies. These are the most evil sort of pixies. These are the brains that we are going to use for the Veritas Serum. Now I am wearing gloves because pixie brains are very bad for your skin.
give that another mix. Almost. There we are, excellent. Now we have three drops of mermaid's tears. what's going to happen is this mixture is going to turn clear. I'm going to put a lid on it. There it goes. We now have a clear liquid instead of a blue. However, the reason why this works is Veritas Serum. It makes the person who takes it show their true colors. Whether that color be blue, That's a great little bit of magic. Oh, that was a good <laughs> Oh, I did good there. Thank you for joining us for this tour of our version of Hogwarts. We do go all out for our parties, but the memories that we create, not only of the party itself with their friends, but the creative process of making and decorating and thrifting is really, really special to us. It's a bonding experience for me and my kids, and I couldn't imagine not going all out like this for our parties. We've created a reputation for ourselves. I'm not sure how we're gonna keep it up because this is pretty, pretty amazing. I'd like to know what your favorite part of our party was. Hit that in a comment below. And let me know what house you're in. Unless you're a muggle. Are you a muggle? If you liked being part of my colorful life for this video, you should subscribe. Why? Because to me, having a life full of color means having a life full of magic. And there's simply enough gray in this world. <laughs>